connected. We are now approximately two and a half months from a decompression of the greater occipital nerve bilaterally with excision of the lesser and third occipital nerves, which are on the back of her head. We did this for a history of refractory occipital neuralgia and occipital migraines. Um, this patient did not have, a, that she recalls, a major traumatic injury, such as a t terrible whiplash from a motor vehicle or from a soccer injury, um, and had more a typical slow onset of pain and discomfort in the back of the head. Why don't you tell us and describe to us what your symptoms were like prior to surgery? Um, I would start to get a headache. It would start at the base of my neck and work its way all the way up to my head and then kind of fan out. Um, and it was, I was missing weeks of school at a time, it was basically useless. So when we say headache, this is not like, a, you know, take two aspirin, call me in the morning. What kind of describe these headaches to us? It was like a throbbing, sharp pain. Um, it hurt to open my eyes. Loud noise was like horrendous. I basically boarded myself up in my room in pitch black and just slept because that was the only thing that I could do. Um, it got so bad. I was very nauseous. Um, I had even gotten sick a couple times and it was, it was rough. Okay. Uh, and where, if you had, to, if I had to ask you to put your hand on the core of all evil, where you felt that this pain began and where you would like try to dig it out of your skull, where do you think it's, where would you think it would start? Right in the back of my head. Okay. And so that's a fairly classic story for occipital neuralgia causing occipital or posterior headaches that radiate forward. Um, we're about two and a half months from surgery and tell us how you're feeling now. What was, how have you been over the last couple of weeks? Uh, I feel great. I haven't had a headache. I haven't had a migraine. I haven't had anything. Um, I wake up every day. My head doesn't hurt. I'm not living on ibuprofen. Um, I feel great. Great. So, you know, this is for other folks who are listening. We, this is a spectacular result so far. We're very happy. We know it's very early. Uh, it's about two and a half months, but uh, sometimes if these things don't work, they don't work at all. So uh, she's had uh, significant relief in the past few months. Uh, and not every patient will have this in, um, response. Some people will still have some pain here and there. Uh, they'll have a bad day every once in a while. So we tell patients not to be discouraged if they're still having some symptoms because uh, that uh, can improve with time. Uh, one thing I also like to address is you had some numbness, as we expect most patients to have numbness after this operation in, in part of their scalp. And it's been two and a half months. How much of that has gone away and is it still improving? Um, a considerable amount of the numbing has gone away. At, right after the surgery, obviously, the whole back of my head was numb. Um, but over the last few weeks, it's really just right around the incisions and a little bit behind my ears. But... Um, I've regained most of the feeling in the back of my head. Great. We did uh, preserve both of her greater occipital nerves, which will provide sensation, but even they shut down sometimes for a while. And we typically remove the third occipital and the lesser occipital nerve. So thank you very much. Mm -hmm.